This video shows how to examine the ear. The examiner has already washed her hands, introduced herself, explained the procedure and obtained the patient's consent. So which is your better hearing ear? Uh, my right ear. And have you got any pain or tenderness? No. And can I get you to give me a smile? By asking the patient to smile, you can look for facial weakness, which is one of the five cardinal symptoms of ear disease. The facial nerve runs in the medial wall of the middle ear and may be affected by pathology in the ear. All right, thank you. So I'm now going to start by examining the better hearing ear. First inspect the external ear using the light of the otoscope to help. Look at the colour of the skin and the shape of the pinna. Look for other abnormalities such as tophi and congenital defects and remember to check for scars. Common surgical scars include the end oral scar between the root of the helix and the tragus and the post auricular scar behind the pinna. Next, otoscopy is performed to visualise the external auditory meatus and the tympanic membrane. There are two sizes of speculum for the otoscope. Choose the largest size speculum possible for the patient's ear canal in order to maximise the amount of light passing into the ear and to maximise your view of the tympanic membrane. In adults, the largest speculum is usually used. When examining the right ear, hold the otoscope in your right hand. Hold it like a pen balanced between your thumb and index finger. Extend your little finger and use this to rest against the patient's face. This means that if the patient moves his head, your hand and the otoscope will move with it and the otoscope will not stab into the ear canal and cause pain. This is of particular importance when examining children. With your free left hand, pull the pinna gently upwards, outwards and backwards to straighten the external ear canal to allow a better view of the tympanic membrane. In children, pull the pinna down and back instead. Insert the otoscope into the external auditory meatus and inspect the canal for wax, discharge, inflammation and other abnormalities. Gently proceed down the canal until the tympanic membrane is seen. Move the speculum around to examine the whole of the tympanic membrane and identify the normal landmarks. This is a normal right tympanic membrane. On a normal tympanic membrane you should be able to see the handle of the malleus, the light reflex in the anterior inferior quadrant and the pars tensor. You should look superiorly to see the pars flaccida also. Gently remove the otoscope, continuing to observe the ear canal for any pathology that may have been missed on the way in. Repeat the examination on the other ear. When examining the left ear, hold the otoscope in your left hand, again holding it like a pen between your thumb and index finger and using your little finger to rest against the patient's cheek. To complete the examination of the ear, the patient's hearing should also be assessed using the tuning fork tests and audiometry.